join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. The cliffs of Sleeve League lie along the Atlantic coast of County Donegal and are some of the highest sea cliffs in Europe. Sleeve League in Irish means mountain of stone pillars and that melodramatic description of what are, after all, cliffs will perhaps be justified when we reach the viewpoint at the top of this hill. So be sure to watch until the end of the video to get the full impression of just how spectacular these cliffs are. In the meantime, as we climb to our amazing vantage point, this would be a great time to get your YouTube stuff out of the way, so please consider liking the video if it's useful, and by subscribing you'll be supporting the channel and encouraging more videos in the future. Please feel free also to give feedback in the comments below because it's always nice to hear what you have to say. We're visiting the cliffs at Christmas time, so in the middle of winter. So it's been possible for us to drive as far as the final pathway, which you'll see in a minute. But this won't be possible at busier times of the year, so prepare for a long walk. But the countryside here is so spectacular that walking is perhaps the best way to appreciate it. As you look out onto the Atlantic Ocean, it's very easy to get the feeling that you're on the edge of the world. And that's certainly what our ancestors must have felt. When you think about it, as we gaze out on the ocean here, the next stop is Canada, or the east coast of the United States. So in a sense, when our ancestors did the same, they were on the edge of the known world. On arriving at the first vantage point, we experience the true majesty of this site. These cliffs are 596 metres, 1,955 feet high, nearly three times the height of the famous Cliffs of Moher. I think this fact has made all the more spectacular today, as the peak of the cliffs are ascending into the mist. In order to gain more spectacular views, you could walk up the stone paths that are carved into this wild and rugged landscape. And if you decide to brave the elements and climb further, it's in the knowledge that these paths have been treaded before you by countless pilgrims. There's the remains of an early Christian monastic site in these mountains, and even before the arrival of Christianity, people journeyed in these mountains and have left their traces in ancient stone remains. If you want to walk the full route, come prepared, check out the weather forecast in advance and you'll need appropriate clothing. Needless to say, you'll need to be relatively fit too, it's quite a climb, but the rewards, as you can see, are worth it. 